Hi everyone! So today we are now in the seventh week for the third quarter and our lesson is about time measurement. Let's watch this. Today we are now in week 7 of quarter 3 and our lesson is about time measurement. So let, a, let us look at the pictures below. So unang picture natin, ang tinatawag natin, sundial. Number 2 is, o kandila na may numbers, candle clock. Number 3, may tubig and then numbers, it is water clock. And the last one is a gallery clock. So, lahat ng ito ay nagpapakita o nagsasabi ng tungkol sa pagsasabi ng oras. Time influences our daily activities such that we should keep track of it. We have to use our time wisely. From ancient times to about the end of the 16th century, sundials were used. So, later, several devices were invented to keep time like the candle clock and the water clock. Today, we have more sophisticated watches, digital clocks, and other electronic devices to help us tell time. Okay, simula pa ng dati, meron na tayong ginagamit na mga uh, devices para malaman ng oras. Unang-una na dyan yung sundial. Then, followed by candle clock and the water clock. Pero ngayon, syempre, meron na tayong mga digital watch and clocks. So, electronic devices to help us tell time. Even cell phone, di ba? Meron na ring oras. So, kung talid nito. So, ano ba ang tawag dito? So, itong nasa right, ito, ito ay analog. When we say analog clock, so, merong numbers na 1 to 12. Ito naman, ito yung digital clock. So, pag sinabi natin digital, so may numbers na nakikita. So, para sa mga bata, siguro mas okay ang paggamit ng digital than analog. Pero pag marunan na silang tumingin ng oras, okay na rin ang analog clock. So, notice that AM and PM are placed at the end to denote whether the time is in the morning or afternoon. They are abbreviations when the 12-hour clock is used. So, we use the 12-hour clock. Meron din 24-hour clock. So, kapag 24-hour clock, katulad yan, yung example natin, 2.45 a.m. So, meaning morning yon. Pag ginamit natin ang p.m., example, 9.30 p.m., ibig sabihin nun, afternoon. So, ginagamit lamang ito kwa, tuwing 12-hour clock. Meanwhile, the 24-hour clock oftentimes called as military clock, since soldiers are the ones mostly use it. Does not require AM and PM to be written after the time as it starts at 0, which is the 12 midnight, then back to 0 after 23.59 or 11.59 PM. Instead, H or R is placed at the end to indicate the use of the 24-hour clock format. So, Itong 24-hour clock, tinatawag natin to as military clock kasi silang mga soldiers ang common na gumagamit ito. Pero, common, ginagamit na rin natin to Lalo-lalo na kung uh, medyo sanay tayo kung 24. Dito kasi ay hindi natin gagamitin ng AM at PM. Automatic yun. After 12 ng noon, ang sunod nun is 13. Meaning, ito yung 1 o'clock. 
So, pag nakakita tayo ng 12.34, hindi na natin lalagyan ng AM or PM. Understood yan, ito ay tanghali. Next, itong 18.30. So, lampas na to ng tanghali, ba? Diba? So, 12, then 18.30. So, gawin natin 18.30. Minus lang natin yung 12. So, meaning 30, then 8 minus 2, 6. 1 minus 1 equals 0. 6.30, lampas to ng tanghali. So, ito ay magiging PM. So, ibig sabihin yan, kapag lumampas yan ng 12, ibig sabihin ng pahapon. Kapag military time, pahapon hanggang gabi. So, example natin, 12 hour clock. Kung ito ay 24 hour clock, 12 midnight, ito ay 00. zero. Tandaan, may H. Tinalagyan ng H. H stands for hour or hours. 12.01 a.m. to 11.59 a.m. 0.01 hanggang 11.59 as is. Walang pinagbago. So, yung 12.01 naging 001 dito sa 24 hour clock. Then, 12 noon hanggang 11.59 p.m. So, 12 to 23.59 h. So, pagkatapos niyan, di ba, 60 uh, 60 minutes in 1 hour. So, after niya, 24. So, 0 na ulit. Back to numbers na ulit. 0. 0 to 24. Okay. So, look at the illustration below showing how to tell time using 12 hour and 24 hour clock. Okay. So, ito yung orasan natin. So, magsimula tayo sa 0. So, 12 yan. Diba? 1. Yung blue tayo. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then, pag 12 na, so, kung ito ay tanghali, kung AM, PM, magpapalit na tayo ng PM. Pero kung yan ay 24 hour clock, then diretso tayo sa 13, doon tayo sa block. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24. PM na to, pero kung 24 hour clock, diretso ang number. So, let us answer. So, learning task 1, fill in the table by converting from 12 hour clock to 24 hour clock and vice versa. So, 7.24 a.m. sa so 24 hour clock ay same, 7.24. Wala nang a.m. So, instead, write H. Next, 3.35 a.m. So, same pa rin, 3.35 H. How about 12 hour? So, ito ay 12. Noon, panghaling tapat. How about 22.45? Lumampas siya ng 12, di ba? So, pwede natin subtract. 22.45 minus 12. So, magiging 45. Then, 2 minus 2, 0. 2 minus 1 equals 10. So, meaning 10.45 a.m. or p.m. So, the answer is p.m. dahil lampas na to ng 12. Pag lumampas siya na 12, ibig sabihin ng p.m. ngayon. Next, 12.34. So, as is 12.34, Dahil lumampas na siya ng 12, PM pa rin siya. So, tingnan naman natin ang larawan. Makikita nyo may oras sa Sydney, New York, London, Dubai, and Tokyo. Iba-ibang oras. So, saan nyo ba natin ito nakikita? Karaniwan ito natin nakikita sa mga paliparan or airport. Lalo-lalo na kung international flight. So, example natin kung ang Sydney ay 1 o'clock, ang New York ay 9 o'clock, London ay 2 o'clock, Dubai ay 6 o'clock, Tokyo ay 11 o'clock. 
May magkakapareho ba ng oras? Wala. Kasi yung tina ito ang tinatawag natin world time zones. So, end time sa Philippines. So, may iba't ibang oras kasi meron tayong tinatawag na 360 degrees ng pag-ikot ng mundo, di ba? So, kay iba-ibang oras. Depende kung ano ang lokasyon. So, different times at different places in the world are caused by the movement of the Earth. So, 15 degrees longitude every hour. Since there are 24 hours in a day, there are 24 standard time zones. Okay, so, meron tayong 24 hours standard time zones iba-iba. Meaning, 24 hours times 15 degrees equals 360 degrees. So, example, kung 5.07 a.m. in London or UK, so, it also 5.07 in the places to the left and right of London. Yung malapit sa London, para-para sila ng oras. So, if it is 6.07 a.m. in the Paris, it is also 6.07 a.m. in the places, degrees to the left and right of the Paris, France. So, para-para sila ng siya, yung mga katabi niyang lugar o bansa. So, tingnan natin ang table sa baba. So, positive means ahead and negative means behind. So, example natin, Buenos Aires ay negative 11. So, ibig sabihin niyan, sila ay uh, behind sa atin. So, nauuna tayo kaysa sa Argentina. Kung sa atin ay 3 o'clock ng uh, madaling araw, sa kanila ay alas 4 or 16 hours pa lang ng Friday. Sa Australia naman, plus 2. So, mauuna sila. Kung 3 o'clock sa atin, sila ay 5 o'clock. So, katulad natin ng China, same ng oras. Kung tayo ay Saturday 3 o'clock, sila din naman ay Saturday 3 o'clock. Cairo, Egypt, mauna sila or malilate? So, late sila kasi negative 6. So, next is Greece. Ma sila ay behind sa atin ng limang oras. New Delhi, behind sila ng 2 and a half hours. Tokyo, Japan, mauuna sila ng 1 hour. So, kung tayo 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock sa kanila. Laos ay behind ng 1 hour. New Zealand, ahead ng 4 hours. So, kung Saturday, 3 o'clock tayo sa kanila, Saturday, 7 o'clock. Warsaw, Poland is behind ng 6 o'clock hours. Riyadh, Saudi, behind din ng 5 hours. Caracas, Venezuela is behind ng 12 hours and 30 minutes. Almost half day, di ba? Washington is behind din ng 12 hours. Ayan. So, kung tayo ay Saturday ng hapon ng stress, sila ay Friday ng alas stress. Ayan. Okay po, ng hapon. So, ang parehas lang lagi natin ay, uh, ayan, China, Singapore, pwede yung isama. Sa Singapore, same din tayo ng oras. So, bus leaves 22 at 22.10 hour in Thursday and arrives in Baguio 6 hours later. At what time and day did the bus arrive in Baguio? So, express your answer both in 12 hour and 24 hour clock. So, kung dumating yan, umalis sila ng 22.10 hour ng Thursday. After 6 hours, so, magdagdag tayo ng 6 and 1 half. 6 and 1 half meaning 6 and 30 minutes, di ba? So, add natin. So, 40. Then, 6, 2 plus 6 equals 8. Then, 28. Alam naman natin, 24 hour clock tayo. Lumampas, di ba? So, i-minus natin sa 24 hour clock. So, magiging 40. Then, 4. 440 hours. Kapag ito ay 24 hour clock. Kapag kinonvert natin siya sa 12 hour clock, ito ay... Since 4.40 lang yan, ay din 4.40 pa rin. Nagyan lang natin ng AM. Okay. So, try naman natin itong learning task 3. So, with the following given time in the Philippines, determine the equivalent time in the given country. Express your answers both in 12 hour and 24 hour clock. So, if the PST is 2.30 hour, ano kayong oras sa Buenos Aires, Argentina? In 24 hour clock and 12 hour clock. So, in Buenos Aires, sila ay behind ng 11 hours. So, kung 2.30, so, 
Balikan natin, pwede masabi natin na 3.30 ng hapon. So, 3.30 ng hapon. PM. So, i-convert natin siya sa 24-hour clock. Burahin natin. Okay. So, 3.30 PM. So, 12 plus 3 equals 15. 15.30 hour. Next, example, 5.15 a.m. sa Canberra, Australia. So, so, ang Canberra ay ahead sa atin ng 2 hours. So, kung sa atin ay 5.15, so plus 2 tayo. 5 plus 2 equals 7. 7.15 a.m. Mababago ba yan sa 24-hour clock? Hindi. So, 7.15 pa rin dahil a.m. Lagyan lang natin ang H. So, basta alam lang natin kung ano yung time difference ng ibang country sa Philippines. Malalaman natin. Ah, ibig sabihin nun kung alas 7 sa Australia, alas 5 pa lang sa atin. So, that's it. Reference natin sa ating uh, learners packet ngayon. Quarter 3, week 7 from 5 to 4 a. And also the 21st century math leads 5 pages 280-288. Thank you for watching. Thank you, my dear Road to 1000 subscribers. I am your teacher, Carmi. And don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye!